It's disappointing having people message me saying, I'm nervous about starting a YouTube channel. I wish I could start it. Wow, you know, I wish I was so much braver and I had the confidence to do it. My response has always been the same and I kind of seem to be giving it more often now. So I'd like to share it with you and maybe you'll find it valuable. Here we go. Hi everyone, my name is Paul Thompson. My shirt is on back the front and inside out. And you know what? It doesn't matter. It doesn't. It really does not matter what I wear or how I look or what I say. I am really enjoying creating these YouTube videos. They are sometimes informative, they are sometimes funny, they are sometimes entertaining. But at the end of the day, I'm the one that gets the enjoyment out of it. For example, if no one watched my videos, not a single person watched them, I'd probably still film them. I, I like sharing the stories, I like tweaking the videos, I like talking in general. So I think I would still like hammer on and upload content whenever I felt the need. And I think it's that premise that people need to remember when starting a YouTube channel. I'm in this Facebook group uh, about YouTubers and this girl messaged into the group very genuinely asking for advice. She said something along the lines of, I've recorded all these videos. They're edited, they're batched, they're ready to go. I sit down to start um, with a channel pitch to launch them onto YouTube and she says I can't. I get stuck. I'm nervous. I, I don't have the confidence to share my work on YouTube. I think that's so disappointing for her. It's so crushing and disappointing seeing this hard work not be shared. Like she's obviously made the videos for a bigger purpose other than her. She wants to share them, she wants to have them out in the world, but is too nervous or fearful of what others will say and think. So I shared a little bit of advice, and this is the same thing I've said for quite a while now, and it seems to work. So from the feedback that I've had, it works. So maybe you'd like to try it too. When you are getting ready to start a YouTube channel and you're freaking out, you're thinking, well, I don't have the confidence to do this, how am I ever gonna start? What are people gonna say and do? Right, let's take it down a notch. At first, I would suggest creating a dummy YouTube account, a fake Snapchat account, or a fake Instagram account. And I would just start recording and uploading videos as much as possible. That's it. Now, the reason that this works is because none of the people that you care about know that you have a channel. And it's often the people that you care about most whose feedback you value or prioritize over others. That's essentially how it works for me anyway. So if you do this recording and uploading in a closed environment where you can still push it online, there are still people watching it in some capacity, but they don't know who you are and it's all anonymous, your confidence will go through the roof. You'll start to feel much more comfortable in front of the camera and talking and uploading. Now, I wouldn't suggest you hang on this for too long because as soon as you get the pattern going and you're feeling confident about talking into the lens and doing all the other stuff that goes into producing and editing, then it's time to really launch into uploading your video. What you have to remember is it doesn't matter like what people think. If you enjoy it and if you are having fun and it is something that you love doing, do it. There are millions, billions of people on the planet and I can guarantee you that there will be tons of people who will love your content. This is something huge that I took ages to realize. I had no idea that people would smile or laugh at my stories and videos. I didn't think I was engaging. I didn't think I was funny. I didn't think I was entertaining. Like all of these things I had in my head. I just thought, who would want to watch this bloody idiot? And lo and behold, it turns out that I am pretty funny and that I am engaging and that people do enjoy my videos. And you know what? If they don't, they don't watch it. Like, how brilliant is that? That the people who watch my content actively just want to see my videos. So you've got to remember that. You're not forcing anyone to watch your content or watch your videos. When you upload it, people are choosing, they're making the choice to watch the videos. If they don't want to watch it and they don't think it's funny or valuable, then they won't watch it. Now, Early on in your YouTube career or even like Insta Stories, Snapchat, all of that, you're not going to get people who are too negative about your videos. But as you would have heard and known and probably something that's adding to the anxiety is that as channels grow, there are like idiots in the world who want to troll you and put annoying, hateful, hurtful comments. 
forget about it. Like, those people aren't even real. So what does it even matter? And if you saw them in the street and they said that to your face, what would you do? Like literally, what would you do? You would just walk away. You'd, you'd be confused, dazed, and like a little weirded out that someone said something like that. And you'd probably just walk away. You would maybe report it. Okay. So you'd be like, hey, police officer, this lad's just having a big old go at me. And you would move on with your day. So don't let it get you down. That's my tips for launching into YouTube. Start practicing. Record and upload as much as you possibly can. Keep doing it because it's something that you love and don't do it just for the views and the people who are subscribing and things like that. Just do it because you enjoy it. And on that note, if you liked this video, give it a thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.